Today on Sports Central, we'll be going over a college football game preview and prediction on a big matchup coming up in week 14. And this one's going to be between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Auburn Tigers. Both these teams, of course, have had good seasons up to this point, especially Texas A&M, who's currently on the verge of being a college football playoff team. And so this is going to be a crucial game for them moving forward if they're still wanting to be a playoff team. Meanwhile, for Auburn, they're coming off of a brutal loss to Alabama. They got blown out to the Crimson Tide last week, and this would be a big bounce back game for Auburn if they're able to get a win against Texas A&M here in this matchup. We're going over a full game preview and prediction on this one here today, starting out with your team trends. And of course, Texas A&M beat LSU last week, 20 to seven was the final score there. And considering LSU is really not all that good of a team this season, that wasn't a very convincing win. And I'm sure the committee is going to say a win's a win here, but I mean, that was not a very convincing win out of Texas A&M. I mean, it was pretty close. It was a good defensive performance by Texas A&M, but this offense, this offense did not look great, as is what I will say. I mean, against that LSU team, which I mean, Kellen Mond's a great quarterback, but he did not perform all that well against LSU this past week. And I mean, if Texas A&M is going to be a college football playoff contender, you got to you got to beat teams like that uh, by more than just 13 points because LSU, I mean, they were three and three going into that matchup, so LSU really is not. All that great of a team this season. So for Texas A&M, if you want to be a college football playoff team, you got to win a little more convincingly. But nonetheless, still, at least the Aggies won there. Well, for Auburn, they got beat up by Alabama, 13 to 42, was their final score there. So that was a brutal loss there for the Tigers. And then for the winning streak for both these teams, Texas A&M is currently ranked fifth in the nation. They're six and one with a five-game winning streak. And then Auburn, of course, is on a one-game losing streak after losing to Alabama. They're now unranked in five and three. This game's gonna be on Saturday, December 5th. Noon Eastern in Auburn. So this is going to be um, in Alabama for this matchup. Spread currently says Texas A&M by three. ESPN FBI has got Auburn by 53%. And then the Vegas prediction is going also with Texas A&M 27 to 24 being the current projected final score. So Texas A&M is favored two out of three with our sources here, which is kind of surprising to see the FBI go with Auburn right now because, I mean, the Tigers are um, indeed unranked in comparison to Texas A&M, who's currently a top five team. So that was a little bit surprising there, but still... I mean, Auburn's definitely got a lot of talent on their team, so it is understandable why the the FBI would be going with Auburn in this situation. But right now, Texas A&M still is favored um, in the spread and in the Vegas prediction. Here's your second comparison for this matchup. Texas A&M's got 31 points per game, 22 points allowed. They got 233 pass yards a game, 185 rush yards. And then for yards allowed, they got 240 passing, and then only 87 rushing. This is a really good rush defense in Texas A&M right now, and that's through seven games. So that is a legit stat there. For Texas a m 87 rush yards per game. So for Auburn, it's going to be obviously pretty tough to run against this Texas a m defense. Well, for Auburn, they got 26 points per game, 24 points allowed. They got 231 pass yards a game, 164 rush yards. And then for yards allowed, they got 245 passing and then 162 rushing. So for both these teams here, obviously, I mean, I'd say Texas a m is probably better statistically, but Auburn still is pretty good in some areas. I mean, if you look at um, how both these teams average. I mean, the averages are pretty much the same for both these teams, except for the rush yards allowed per game. I mean, if you look at um, how Texas A&M does allow almost 80 less rush yards per game in comparison to Auburn, that is something that is certainly a big standout step there for um, Texas A&M. So this is a very good rush defense so far in Texas A&M. I mean, and you got to consider too, the Aggies have gone up against um, some really good rushing offenses, including Alabama. They went up against Florida um, South Carolina, LSU, all these teams with pretty good running backs. Texas A&M has done pretty well against. You got to consider that there. Uh, but Auburn on their side, I mean, they're doing pretty good in the passing game. I mean, 231 pass yards a game is pretty good for them. And of course, you got Bo Nix, who has had a less than a less than um, extremely good season. I mean, Bo Nix certainly was expected to be one of the better quarterbacks in the SEC this season, considering how good his true freshman season was last year. But he's at 1,800 yards, 10 touchdowns seven interceptions so he hasn't had a terrible season but certainly hasn't been great but Kellen Mond on the Texas A&M side he's at 1500 yards with 16 touchdowns and two interceptions so he's got a great touchdown and interception ratio going right now for Texas A&M and Kellen Mond I mean he wasn't as good last week against LSU but throughout the season he's definitely been one of the better quarterbacks in the SEC here's our previous five games for both these teams Texas A&M of course uh, beat LSU 20 to 7 they beat South Carolina 48 to 3 Beat Arkansas 42-31. They also beat Mississippi State 20-14. And they also knocked off the fourth-ranked team in the nation at the time, Florida, 41-38. And that's certainly been the signature win of the season so far for Texas A&M. And, of course, the one loss for Texas A&M right now is to Alabama. They also got beat up by Alabama uh, back in the second game of the season. But Texas A&M has won every game since. 
Um, so the Aggies definitely are looking like a really good team right now. And I think, I mean, personally, if we put Texas A&M and Alabama against each other again, um, like next week, I mean, I think Texas A&M certainly would keep it a close one. Um, the Aggies are certainly looking like a really good team right now. But, I mean, yeah, if you look at Texas A&M right now, I mean, even though they allowed 31 points to Arkansas, Arkansas is still a pretty good team. you got to consider that too. So, yeah, Texas A&M is looking really good right now. As for Auburn, they lost to Alabama 13-42. They did beat Tennessee 30-17. They blew out LSU 40-11. So Auburn did beat LSU um, by a lot more than Texas A&M did. And then they also beat Ole Miss 35-28. And they also lost to South Carolina 22-30, which, I mean, Texas A&M absolutely obliterated uh, South Carolina back a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah, I mean, the second comparison is kind of weird with their previous five games. I mean, both these teams have done very differently against these opponents in comparison to the other team. But, I mean, Auburn does have uh, two more losses than Texas A&M does right now because Auburn is sitting at 5-3, and three, while Texas A&M is sitting really well at 6-1. and one. So, yeah, both these teams right now are in pretty good – I would say Texas A&M is in a good situation. Auburn on their side um, still needs to get a couple more wins to end up uh, making it to a good bowl game because Auburn right now at 5-3, and three, I mean, if you lose this game, you're 5-4, and four, and that is not a very good look for Auburn right now. It is a five and four record, so you definitely want to try to prevent uh, going to five and four in the season. But here's some key points for this one: Texas A&M is still a college football playoff contender. There's no doubt about that. I mean, this is a team that I think. I mean, if you think about it, the door is wide open right now for the Aggies. If they can just win out and win convincingly, there's a chance that we do see Texas A&M in um, the college football playoff. Because if you think about it, like we're probably going to be seeing Clemson and Notre Dame playing each other in the ACC championship. Both those teams are in the top four right now. And there's a good chance that the loser of that ACC championship game matchup will be knocked out of the top four, especially if it's Clemson. Now, if you look at if you look at the SEC side of things, Alabama's pretty much a lock unless they lose the SEC championship. And then in the Big Ten, if Ohio State does end up missing one more game over the next couple of weeks, that puts Ohio State in a bad position because that means that they can't make it to the Big Ten championship because that makes them ineligible. And that also means that there's a good chance that they can't even make it to the college football playoff because of that. So, I mean, that would be an interesting situation for all of those teams, but it'd be a good situation for Texas A&M because that'd leave, the, that'd leave the door wide open for them uh, possibly to make it into the top four. So, I mean, Texas A&M just needs to win out right now. They just need to win all their games from here on out because, I mean, if Texas A&M can do that, uh, that puts them in a good position to possibly be in the background of the college football playoff. Meanwhile, for Auburn, they're coming off of a brutal loss to Alabama. Certainly, there's really no chance for Auburn uh, to still make it back in the playoff. But they're definitely not a team to sleep on right now. Like, especially for Texas A&M, this is a crucial game for them. I mean, if you lose this game, your hopes of the college football playoff are pretty much gone. So, yeah, that's that's kind of what's at the line here or what's at risk for Texas A&M right now. But for Auburn, I mean, Auburn really doesn't have a whole lot to lose except for a pretty good bowl game. Because I still think Auburn can make it to a decent bowl game. It's just right now, if you lose this game, you go to 5-4. and four, and that definitely does not give you a good look for making it to a good bowl game. So that's kind of what's at risk here for Auburn. But certainly, this is a very impactful game for both these teams moving forward. And no one's really talking about it quite yet. But I definitely think as the week goes on, many people are going to realize how big of a game this is for both these teams. Which, in the end, I've got the Aggies getting the win. I think the Texas A&M Aggies will end up beating Auburn this weekend. 20-24 is going to be your final score. It's going to be a big game for both these teams. Texas A&M, though, I think gets the win in a moderate scoring one to a low scoring game. It would not surprise me to see this one be a pretty big defensive battle. I think your halftime score, 14 to 10. Aggies will lead it at the half. I think Auburn's gonna hang around for the majority of this game. But I think Texas A&M does lead it for the majority of this one too. I really don't think we see Auburn uh, lead a lot, but I definitely think Auburn's gonna kind of hang in the background and keep themselves alive. But I think Texas A&M, I mean, Kellen Mond, I do trust in him a lot more than Bo Nix right now. Uh, I just think Texas A&M is all around the better team. They've got a lot more talent. And their defense is playing a lot better than Auburn is right now. Which Auburn, I think, is going to be forced to pass quite a bit in this game. Mainly because Texas A&M's rush defense has been so good. So you got to consider that too. And I think, I mean, if, if I'm trusting a team more in this situation, it's definitely going to be Texas A&M. Because, I mean, Auburn's kind of had some struggles on offense. Bo Nix is not as good of a quarterback as Kellen Mond is. And I just don't trust Bo Nix completely yet. So I'm going with Texas A&M here. 65% chance of the Aggies getting the win, so I am pretty comfortable with picking Texas A&M here. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this one. Let me know if you enjoyed this preview, and let me know your score predictions, all of that down in the comments. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this preview, slap a like on it, subscribe as well, as it really helps with the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But as always, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central, and I'll see you all later.